The victorious people are here this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I gave you last week, which was the first one, it says, I am victorious. And you have to declare and decree and speak victory over yourself and your situation. Amen. Amen. Uh, even when things don't look too victorious, he says, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Amen. Uh, our key scripture was Romans 8.37. It says, nay. And all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Say, I'm more than a conqueror. I am more than Say, I'm, a conqueror. Not I'm not just a conqueror. I'm not just a conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm more than and a conqueror. That's, that, these declarations that I give you, the ten I hands that I've given you, uh, that I'm more than a conqueror, you have to know that in your spirit. Even when things in the natural realm don't look too victorious, Amen. you have to declare and decree that in your spirit that I'm more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Because God's word says it. Because sometimes when you're walking in that place of victory or you're believing God for certain victories to manifest and take place in your life, the things around you don't look too victorious. Uh, but we have right. to be a people that are not moved by what we hear. We're not right. moved by what we see, but we stand totally fixed on the word of God. Amen. 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 And that's what we come to do. We come on these weekends to be empowered, that we can be blessed and just be motivated to stand on his word. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Say, I am, I am victorious. victorious. Uh, I like uh, Romans 8.31 says, what shall we say to these things? So it says here in uh, Romans 8.37, it says, nay, and all these things, we are more than conquerors to him that loved us. Romans 8.31 says, what shall we say to these things? So when things come, Yes. <laughs> you have to say something. Y'all not saying that. When things come on your job, when things come up on your body, when things come up with your children, there's something you have to say to these things. More than a chicken wing, you got to say some things. Amen. You have to say and declare and decree that uh, when the enemy comes against your body, you have to declare and decree. Isaiah 53 and 5 says, uh 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 uh. For he was wounded for my transgressions, he was bruised for my iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with and by his stripes I am healed. When the spirit of fear wants to come and overtake you, you got to say, back up fear, for God has not given me the spirit of fear, but that of power, love, and of a sound mind. When you're going through challenges in your finances, and it looks like, everybody say, it looks like. It looks like. It looks like your needs are going to be met. you got to come back and say, uh-uh, but my God shall supply all of my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. When peace, how many people has the enemy tried to rob you of your peace? Yep. Amen. Yep. Amen. He's always after three things Your joy, yep. your yep. peace yep. And your strength But the word says right. he wow. would keep us wow. In perfect peace wow. As we keep our minds yep. stayed on him You can't keep your mind on your problems and be in peace Right. You can't keep your mind on your children right. <laughs> and be in peace. Right. You have to allow the Holy Spirit of God to keep you in a place of peace. You have to declare and decree his word because his word says, so shall my word be yes. that goes forth out of my mouth. Yes. 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 It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish the thing whereto it's sent to do. So we have to know, we have to be people that, are, that, that, that don't stand on church, right. that we don't stand on religion, that we don't stand on tradition, that we have to be people of God in this hour. Everybody shout in this hour. Yes. Yes. That really stand on the word of God. Amen. Amen. For so long, since the time we've stand in church and we've did churchy things and we've did anniversaries and we've did honor honorary days and anniversaries and chicken fries and fish fries. But no, we gotta come to a place where we dig our feet in the sand, Sister Beverly, and we have to stand on the word of God. Amen. Because that's the only thing that's going to make a difference in our life. That's the only thing that's going to make a difference with our children. That's the only thing that's going to make a difference in our spirit is the word of God. When you get away from the word of God and you're not going to stick to the word of God, you might as well stay home and watch TV. Amen. Wow. Amen. We have to get back to the basics. And to get back to the basics is to get back to the word. Let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. 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 So I want to give you some scriptures of I am victorious. The first scripture I want to give you, which I uh, like, it was Deuteronomy 20 and 4. It says, for the Lord your God, it is he, say, say, say it is he. he. I like this. For the Lord your God, it is he that goeth with you to fight for you. But that's something worth dancing over. <laughs> that our God, he fights for us. Yeah. Yeah. Let me read that. Let me read that. Deuteronomy 20 and 4 says, For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. He's the Lord that fights for us. He fights for us. Say, he fights for me. He fights for me. While he's teaching your hands to war and your fingers to fight, he's fighting for you. That's why you can say, no matter what your battle is, Veronica, that this battle is not yours, but it belongs to God. Amen. 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 So number one is uh, Deuteronomy 20 and 4 says, For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. 
uh, the next scripture reference is John 16, 33. It, it says, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. He wants us all to have great peace. Don't you know that the Prince of Peace wants you to stay in peace? Amen. Say, the Prince of Peace wants me to have perfect peace. And he said he would give us, according to Isaiah 26 and 3, that he would keep us in perfect peace as we keep our minds set on him. Back to John 16, 33. It says, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. That's right. In the world you shall That's go right. through. Yeah. That's right. Amen. That's the word. Yeah. Sister Gwen, in the world you shall have problems. In the world you shall have situations. In the right. world you shall have challenges. Everybody shout challenges. Challenges. That's in the world. Everybody say in the world. In the world. It says in the world you shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have already overcome them. We are already more than conquerors in the midst of situations that don't seem too conquerors. He said, I called you, and nay, and all these things, and all these challenges, you are more than a conqueror. So all we have to do is line ourselves up, Dr. Schiller, with the finished work. That's it. Amen. Amen. Line ourselves up and line our mouth up with the finished work. Don't declare and decree uh, in church victory that you go home and, and talk about your problem. You're right. Preach. Amen. Amen. David, he got it. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Psalm 34 and 1. I will bless the Lord at all times, and this praise shall always be in our mouth. It's easy to say the right thing while we're in church. It's easy to say the right thing while we're amongst believers. But it's not what you say he is going to count. It's what you're saying when you get home. It's what you're saying while you're in your fiery furnace. Come on, Shadrach, Meshach, and that bad Negro. <laughs> What are you saying in your fiery furnace? What are you saying in that hot place that you're in? What are you declaring and decreeing? They, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they got it. They said, Nebuchadnezzar, no matter what we go through, we ain't bowing to you. Yeah. If our God whom we serve, he's able. But if he don't deliver us, I'm not bowing to you. Yeah. And that's how we have to be. Even in the midst of whatever we're facing today, we have to be like, God, I, I, I don't like the situation I'm in. It's, it's really hard. It's really hard for me to lose. I want to lose it in the flesh. But Lord, I'm going to be still and know that you are God. Amen. If you brought me to it, you'll bring me through it. Let's give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. I'll read that again. John 16, 33 says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. Everybody shout peace. Peace. In the world you should have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have already overcome them. Uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 13 and 14, it says, There has no temptation, no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Say, God is faithful. God is faithful. It says, But God is faithful, and who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able to stand. But with the temptation also make a way for you to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. So even in the times of temp temptation and in the times of trouble, he always provides to us, this is doing a way of escape. Say, thank you, Lord, for the way of escape. Thank you, Lord, for the way of escape. Now, sometimes we don't always take the way of escape. <laughs> but he provides for us, Sister Gwen, a way of escape. Say, I am victorious. I am victorious. 1 Corinthians 15, 57 says, But thanks be to God which giveth us the victory. Oh, yeah. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, we have the victory through Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We're more than conquerors through Jesus. Amen? Amen. 1 John 5 and 4, 4 says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, mm -hmm. and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to read that again. It says, for who, whatsoever is born of God. How many people are born of God in here? Amen. You're born of God. It says, you overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Amen? Our last scripture for this morning is going to be in Ephesians 6 and 10. Amen. This is good, right? Amen. That's good. Amen. Hallelujah. Ephesians 6 and 10. When you have it, say amen. If you don't have it, say, hold up, I'm getting it. Amen. <laughs> Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, a final word. Be strong in the Lord in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to stand. Everybody shout, stand. Stand. Stand firm against all strategies of the devil. God wants us as believers to stand firm and stand strong. Not in your strength, but in the strength that lies in you. The Bible says, greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. So we're to stand strong in God. In the midst of hell's fire, Sister Gwen, we have to stand strong. In the midst of temptation, we have to stand strong. When we're in a place where we don't know what to do, when our back is all up against the wall and we really don't know what to do, we have to stand strong. We have to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Amen? So this word, it says a final word. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole, put on all of God's armor 
so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. The devil has so many tricks and strategies and schemes, Brother Mark, that he brings against us daily. But the word says, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So even when he comes against us, Pastor Faith, we got the power to fight back. He's given us something to fight back with. Hallelujah. Verse 12 says, for we wrestle not against, uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark place, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece. Everybody shout every piece. Every piece. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so that you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will be standing firm. After the battle, you'll be standing strong. <laughs> Jesus, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Verse 14 says, stand your ground, right. putting on the belt of truth yes. and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition, everybody shout in addition. In addition. In addition to all these, hold up. Everybody say, hold up. Hold up. A shield of faith to stop hallelujah. the fiery arrows of the devil. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Verse 17 says, put on salvation as your helmet. You got to keep your mind girded. You got to keep your mind strong. You got to keep a helmet on so the enemy won't try to uh, eat your lunch in the bag of cayman. Y'all not saying that. Yeah. Verse 17 says, put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Verse 18 says, pray in the spirit at all times and every occasion. Stay alert. Everybody shall stay alert. Look at somebody and say, stay alert. Stay alert. And be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. I like that. Verse 18 says, pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You never know what you're conquering when you pray in the spirit. As a sidebar, next Friday night, we're going, next Saturday night, we're going to have Margie Florent here. And all those that haven't received the gift of the Holy Spirit, she's going to be teaching on the Holy Spirit and leading people to receive the Holy Spirit. That's next Saturday night at 7 p.m. Praying in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert. Sometimes the enemy comes in, Veronica, because we don't stay alert. The word don't tell us to watch, Brother uh, Mark. It says to watch and prayer. Right. Mm. So to watch means to be alert. Right. Because the Bible says we're not to be ignorant of Satan's devices. Yeah. So if you're caught up right. in your problems mm -hmm. and you're caught up in your situations right. and you're caught up with your foreign no more, if you're caught up in the things of this yeah. world, it'll keep you blinded. Right. It'll right. keep right. you from right. being alert. But in this season, you better be alert. Amen. You better be in a place where you have eyes to see and ears to hear what God is saying. Wow. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody shout, be alert. Be alert. Let's make it personal. Say, Lord, help me, Lord, help me to, be to be alert. Give me eyes to see and ears to hear what you're saying in my life, in my family's life, and in every given situation. We want to be alert of things around us. And the way the enemy is lurking everywhere, you have to watch everywhere. When you're going to get money out the ATM, you got to be alert. Watch who's behind you. While you're driving on the road, you got to watch. You even got to watch while you're grocery shopping in the grocery store or shop, right? I, I saw on the news last week where somebody was trying to take the baby's baby out the carriage. Snatching somebody else's baby, sitting in the, uh, the, the shopping cart, and some stranger is going to take the baby out the cart. The devil is alive. Well, ladies, watch your purses, watch your Michael Kors, and watch your cell phones, because you'll be turning looking for vegetables, and you, your, your Michael Kors will be saying, where am I? Watch your babies, watch your children, watch your weeds, watch your wig, watch everything. Hallelujah, you got to watch everything. And we're, we're laughing, but we really, we're at a time where you have to watch everything. Let's give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Closing out with verse 18. Pray in the spirit at all times on every occasion. Yes. Stay, alert Stay alert. And be persistent in your prayers. Yes. Persistent. Yes. Persevere in your prayer. Be consistent. Stay in the place of prayer. Stay in the place of his face. If you're too busy to pray, you're too busy. That's right. Amen. Amen. If you don't have no time for God, you got you need to rearrange something. Because let me tell you something. If you don't make time for God, the devil will eat your lunch in the bag of Cayman. You have to. You got to pray for your children. Pray for your husband. Pray for your wife. Pray for your children. You have to pray. You got to be persistent. Not just one time. Not just praying over your food. Some of y'all don't even pray over your food no more. You just go to eating. Coming out the drive through throwing fries in your mouth. Y'all going to say, but ain't said, Lord, thank you for nothing. If you can't say amen, just say, ouch, ouch, ouch. Them good old McDonald's fries so good. You ain't even blessed them. You ain't prayed over. You just shoved them in your mouth. 
Yeah. While you're stopping at, at, the, at the drive, let me stop a minute. But while you're stopping the drive through, you're looking at your phone. You ain't praying. You ain't praying. You just I see somebody text you and trying to, you know, navigate. Yeah. Verse 18 in my closing. <laughs> pray in the spirit at all yeah. times and on every occasion. Stay alert. Amen. And be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this word. Hallelujah. We thank you that you made the way for us to be more than conquerors, Father God. We thank you for victory this day in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you for those that are watching. We praise you for those that are listening, Father God. And we thank you, Lord. We release salvation and deliverance to everyone that's watching, Lord. Someone that may be there today that needs to be saved, we just say, Lord Jesus, come into their hearts and save them and deliver them and set them free, Lord. And if you're watching today and you haven't been to church, get up, get dressed, and go to the house of God somewhere. Go, go give God some time. We give, we give our job so much time and we work overtime, but let's make room for God in our lives. So, Father, we thank you this morning that we're victorious. We thank you that we're more than conquerors. And we say, Lord, help us to be all that you desire us to be. I thank you for everyone that's here this morning. Cause us all to walk in the victory that you've already set before us. Lord, if we don't walk in victory, it's not because the way hasn't been made, but we just have chosen not to. But, Lord, we want to be all that you desire us to be. We want to walk in victory in every area of our life. And we thank you, Lord, for this day. And I thank you that we're more than conquerors because you love us. And we say all these things in Jesus' name. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise. I'm through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.